All right, here is a video review of Civil Warriors CW01 General Grant, AKA War Within Optimus Prime. And you can see he is a big chunky boy. He's very heavy. He's got a lot of alloy die cast material up in the cabinet. Not so much in the trailer. The trailer is a lot of plastic. So if you pick it up, it's definitely like uh, when you have it all locked together, you want to pick it up by grabbing it right around here because, or, or from the front because it's very heavy in the front but if you try to grab it from back here while it will stay together as you can see it's quite solidly connected um it's a little more difficult to hold because all the weight is up here in the front part of the other of robot but if you grab it right here it's pretty good and like i said he is uh, very massive but very cool uh the one drawback like i said it's it's uh i don't know if civil warrior is an entirely new company if it's made up of uh, previous employees from other companies that have been around. Uh, I'm not sure what the genesis of the Civil Warrior uh, brand is. Uh, this is their first offering, for, uh, at least under the name Civil Warrior. And it it, it has a few, I, I won't say it's 100% perfect because I don't know that there's anything that really is 100% perfect. It has a few of the, the minor nitpicks that a first offering does, but that said, it's insanely solid and cool. Like this is a very fantastic uh, freshman effort from Civil Warrior. Like I'm really, really digging this guy. He just is beautiful in person. Uh, the, the red is a shiny metallic red uh, here. This the, the windows here on this is, is a shiny metallic blue. Uh, just a, it just looks neat. Uh, the whole trailer design is very cool. Um, like I said, but like the one minor nitpick I have, and, and maybe I just haven't figured something out, the instructions don't mention it, um, is that he comes with an axe and a gun, and I have not yet found a way to maybe store them inside this trailer, because the trailer does its own thing, but um, so these just kind of set off to the side when he's in uh, full vehicle mode. And, and the thing is, this is one of those rare uh, robots where I would be happy to display him in either mode. Like his robot mode looks neat, his full-on robot mode looks neat, but this is a really impressive looking uh, vehicle mode as well. It's, it's unique and it looks cool and I would display it like this as well. But let's go ahead and get on to the figure itself uh, now that we've talked about it. So the trailer, uh, it's connected at four different points. Uh, two are just some small little tabs uh, on this area that plug into the legs, which we'll show off once once I get it separated. Uh, the other two are these tabs uh, right here. There's a tab right on the front of this uh, silver piece on each side that is holding the rear end of the truck in place. So you want to come under here and just kind of gently pry up. The first, it's a little bit scary the first time because you're, you're like, is this supposed to move? Can I get that out of the way? But you just unhook this little L bracket uh, from here and then do the same on the other side. And generally once that's done, uh, you can kind of just lift the whole trailer off because it is uh, right here. It's, there's two flat pegs here that peg into these two uh, slots that were outlined in red here on the knees. But then the trailer comes off, and for the time being, we're just going to take this and set that off to the side. But it is going to come back in a big way. You can kind of see some of the stuff going on in there uh, later on in the video. So here is the main robot, and once this is out, you can you can leave those up, you can fold those flat uh, however you want. Uh, they do, when you go back to vehicle mode, you do need to have this part of the feet angled up slightly because there's a bar here on the trailer that needs to sit here uh, for it to get far enough up to lock into here and here. So if you have these flat, it's not quite gonna sit. It, there's a peat part of the trailer that sits right in here. So just make sure to have those angled up. And personally, it makes the back end look a little bit more dynamic here in, in solo. Uh, cab mode uh, if you have those angled up but it's entirely up to you you can do it but yeah here he is he's got a big chunky rolling wheels up here on the front exhaust pipes uh wheels on the back but it's a pretty standard uh war within optimus prime cab and to transform it uh go ahead and from right back here you want to take the arm and lift it up off this blue post right here just like that and just like that and then slide the forearm off of this tab. And this is another, again, one of those other minor nitpicks. It's still red, but some of the, uh, because of the way it tabs in, like here it's not an issue because this is solid blue plastic, but here 
Um, and, and, and if there's anything rubbing off inside of these slots, you don't see it. There's nothing visible, but these little small little tabs here are showing a little bit of paint rub uh, where they tab into the forearm. It's minor and it doesn't detract from the figure as a whole. But like I said, minor nitpick. Um, outside of that, but aside from that, like it's really cool. But like the, these are, uh, the, the exhaust pipes are uh, die cast, the feet are die cast. Uh, there's a whole bunch of it uh, at various points in the figure. I think this ab piece is die cast. It definitely is feeling cold like it is. Um, but yeah, so anyway, lift these up. You can go ahead and uh, fold the toes up, fold the heels out, and stand them up. And we'll rotate this up just a little bit. And then uh, you just take the legs, you can split them apart. It's a little easier to do them one at a time. But you just grab them, and it takes a little bit more force, but you'll hear them ratchet down. Now, there's no button to push or anything. It's just a, a friction ratchet. But extend those down, and then push these, uh, these blocks right here. Push them up. And the legs are done. There you go. So come up here. Let me move these out of the way just a little bit on the upper half of the body. Lock the camera. So these go ahead and bring them around. They'll, they'll kind of ratchet, they'll click around. And then this, this little tab here, this is gonna fold all the way around and snap into place up here. So fold it and, the, and you'll get it here and, and, and friction will hold this in place. But once you get to this point, you do wanna click that into place and it'll lock it into the, in, into the shoulder. Uh, lift this panel up and rotate it around to expose uh, the in, inner workings here. Just kind of move this out to the side. I guess you could, well, you can't really fold it all the way around the back, so. Um, fold it around, again snap it into place, fold that out, and then right here take this, this whole piece, well before, actually before you do that, this is important, uh, come back here, there we go, you know, all the way up, there we go, that one, that side of the leg wasn't all the way up. Uh, this piece right here, you want to pull, oh I, I didn't latch it, okay, so there's a little latch in here, I've been playing with them all day and I forgot to fold this out, let me, let me pop this out, and it does, when you're going back, uh, it does take a little bit of effort to get this in. I got a little plastic thing here, but there's a little, uh, these two panels, like th these plug together, this little thing lock latches this together and locks it in place. So if it's not there, obviously it holds together just fine because there's also tabs that tab in here, but there is a little flap here designed to, uh, to latch in there and lock that together. That's more important uh, in a little bit, and I'll show you why. But you can flip that, you can fold that away, lift this up, and once that's lifted up, you can pull up the whole upper torso here and fold it down. So we've rotated this around to the front so you can see the grill. And then take this whole upper body and rotate it around the core here. And once it's facing front, you can snap it down. Um, now, it, snap it back down. Now, it doesn't, uh, I mean, we may have to wait until we get the, the head out. Um, it, it won't lock lock into place. There's no tab under here, unfortunately, but it will uh, once you get it pushed down and, and everything up transformed up here. It sits pretty pretty uh, reasonably tightly up here in the upper body. So now that this is up, we can unsnap this. Just kind of pull back on the uh, cockpit here. These pieces fold up. You can see there's a t peg and a peg hole. So fold those up and around like that, and then bring this whole assembly down onto the back. Now uh, flipping the head up. The, uh, you can go ahead and rotate the arms down as well. But um, it's super tight until I realized, like I was trying to like, get in there and pull it up and the instructions say to pull it up, but this piece actually kind of flips up like this. So if you get your finger, I mean, be careful doing it, but if you get your thumb kind of right there on his head crest and just pull, like just kind of like you're pushing it back toward the back, this whole panel just kind of flips up. And once that's done, and it wasn't super clear in the instructions, once that's done, the neck, actually, you can kind of see the uh, the slot here in there, in the back, the neck actually, because if you have him sitting like this, his face gets obscured by this red panel. And it always kind of does, and that's not their fault, that's a, that's just the design of, the ro of this version of the Prime. But the head itself can slide back here Sit a little further back and it gets a little bit more clearance and makes it a little bit more visible here in robot mode. Now the camera's at a slightly lower angle. Let me see if I can't lift this up a little better. We are gonna move to a bigger tripod for some of the stuff later on. Let me see if I can't just lift this up a little bit to give you a better idea of how that faceplate actually sits straight on from the front. So yeah, you slide it back and it's not quite as obscured as his head moves around. Also, you can, the, uh, the antenna here on the sides of his head can be angled forward or back depending on your preference. 
And yeah, so he's mostly at robot mode here. We wanna go ahead and rotate his arms around to the bicep joint to bring the exhaust pipes to the outside. And then uh, here, there's a, the lower half of this, the top half is flush, but right down here, there's a little extra divot that sticks out on the, on the lower half underneath the, the, the wrist where you can easily flip these panels out. Now these panels are very tight and going back in can be a little difficult. You wanna kinda of grab them here and grab them here to start flipping them out. Um, and you do wanna be careful, you, you kinda of wanna grab it by the grid because there are, the fingers here, I haven't had any issues yet, but the fingers here all are on those small little ball joints. So you don't just wanna like reach in there and just grab the hand because you don't wanna risk snapping any of the individual hinges here because all the fingers are fully articulated. But once you get that out, you can kind of bring the hands out um, and then you kind of put your thumb right here on this piece and just rotate the whole hand all the way out. And then you can just, once that's straight, you can close this up, line it up right away. Um, and you have to wiggle it a little bit to get that to line up, but that should latch right back into place so it's flush with the forearm. And you can pose the fingers however you want. Also, before you, uh, before or after you can flip the fist back in, you can uh, use this, uh, the, the ax has two little tabs here, these little slots. You, this is one of his weapons. You can give him a, an ax arm, which is kind of cool. Um, also, one of the other benefits of the ax arm is if you are having trouble getting these to fold in or fold out. I don't really recommend using to fold it back in because it can be such a tricky process anyway. But like if, you, if it is a little stuck and you need a little bit of movement, uh, that'll help you get the leverage uh, to start flipping the hands out um, if, you, if your thumbs just aren't up to the task. Now I will say folding them back in, you, as I pull these out, um, you're gonna see the, uh, it's a little tricky to get them in there because the, the, the hinge sticks out a little bit up in here. Uh, it's the curved bit. So you have to put the thumb in first and then rotate. It's almost counterintuitive to how you pack up fists uh, usually for these things. And then you want to kind of wrap the fingers on the outside and then just go slow because you're, you, you're it's a little tricky to get, uh, to get these lined up in just a way to clear that thing. You'll figure it out. It's not difficult. It's just a matter of getting those fingers arranged just right and then not messing them up as you rotate the whole wrist in. But like I said, if you're having trouble uh, rotating that wrist, because it is a pretty tight pin here, uh, you can always use this uh, once you get to a certain point, folding it back in or getting it started, folding it back out, you can use the ax. But there he is in robot mode, a big, solid chunk of a robot. He does have an, also have a giant, uh, really thick mamma jamma of a blaster, which can tab into his hand. And you can fold it, fold his fingers around it. And he's uh, very cool, very heavy in his full robot mode. Um, he's got a swivel head and up and down. It's not a ball joint, but he's got both axes on his head, so he can kind of look up and down all around. Uh, ratcheting shoulders in both directions, bicep swivel, dual hinged elbows. Okay, I didn't, clearly didn't peg that in long enough. The fully articulated fingers here on the hands. Um, as well as a wrist swivel. Plug that back into his hand here. There we go. He's got waist swivel. He's got an ab crunch, like this the center silver piece right here. Uh, this piece actually folds around it, you can see, so he's got an ab crunch. Also, now that we're in robot mode, you, you can see, like it's not, when, once you get his head up, you can push this whole thing down and it, while it's still a little wobbly here where the upper part meets the chest, uh, it's actually pretty secure. Um, it, it, like I said, it just doesn't snap, snap into place. There's no tab that locks into place coming down, but it does uh, secure pretty well. Waist swivel, ratcheting hips in both directions. Okay, fine, gun. Uh, all these little hip panels can fold out to give them more posability. Uh, dual ratcheting knees, ankle tilt, toe tilt. Uh, pretty decent range of posability there. We are going to want him to drop this anyway, but I'll sort of wrap his fingers a little tighter around it. Yeah, 
And just to give you a quick size comparison, here he is with Siege, uh, Voyager class Optimus. Like he's he's a big dude. He's not he's not the hugest Optimus I've, I've messed with, but he's big. So now that we've got that out of the way, well, actually we haven't done one of the cool things here. I'm going to use a small little thing here. So uh, in his chest, you can see he's got a little bit of a. Uh, you can open up the hinges here, and he's got a matrix in there. And also, uh, here on the side of his rifle, there's a white button. And he did come with the batteries. It takes LR41 batteries. Uh, but you can push this in, and it very brightly lights up the end of his laser. And uh, there's a little button right here on the other side of his torso that lights up his matrix as well. This, this is a very deep blue... This is a white LED, but it still looks cool. And for the batteries for the gun uh, are right up in here in the front. You just unscrew that, change the batteries. And the batteries for his, uh, for his chest, this piece right here uh, just friction pops off and you can see the batteries go right there in the side of the wheel. And then this, this piece right here, well, okay. The headlight piece uh, is a separate piece, as you can see. But just slot that right back in and uh, snap that piece back into place there. And that's how you replace the batteries uh, should you need to. And like I said, you can get, I got a 20 pack of LR41s off of Amazon for like three bucks. So while he did ship with batteries installed, and I don't know if their final retail version one will or not. Um, he, uh, okay, well, that's fine. You just fall out because uh, we're gonna change you up anyway. So I, I don't know if the retail version will uh, will come with batteries installed, but it's very easy and cheap to get uh, if you're looking for some. Where did my... There we go. Now, on to the trailer. We'll set him off to the side here for a moment, and we'll start working on how the trailer comes apart, because it's pretty neat. So right here, first right off the bat, I just kind of pull the sides out a little bit and then pull on the this, this front half here. There's upper half, it just unclips. These come out, they separate. You wanna go ahead, flip out the, uh, flip out these panels. And it may take, you may need a small little tool to get in there to get this going, but there's a little handle here. little handle here you just want to start flipping out like that and then you can leave this short or you can extend it so do that to each one so flip these open extend the barrel and then come under here and flip out that handle and they, they will see there's a, the tab is specific to each side so these do have specific sides they tab into and we'll set those off to the side Let me come back here, and there's several points here you want to keep an eye out for. First thing, come down here to this front wheel. There's three wheels. The front wheel kind of pull down on the wheel. You'll see it unlocks a hinge right there. And just kind of slide that out. And then there's hinges all up at the top here. Also, you can kind of push down on the center here to get under the middle. There's a little place to get it, so you just kind of push down on this panel. Once you get one up, you can just reach in there, pop that up. But this you can see, you can just kind of pry it off here. There's an L-shaped bracket. And just want to separate this these back end from this middle piece. The back end, go ahead and just pop it apart like that. And this piece folds around. Fold this uh, upper piece down here like this, like that. And then fold this little flap around and in like that. Fold this all the way around to the back. This piece folds down, and while you're folding it down, this little tab here flips around to the outside. Lift this blue piece forward, and then fold this piece all the way down into the rear there, and then the outer half of the toe, uh, you need to come under here and get your th thumbnail in it, but the outer half of the toe slides out, so the foot widens up, and then the wheels fold flat, and you can see there's some ankle tilt there, we'll get to that in a minute. But. Same thing on this side, fold this around, 
Hold this down, flip it forward. I will say the first couple of times you do this, some of these hinges are a little tight, so use pressure at the hinge. Again, nothing's felt like it's gonna snap, but you know, just to be safe. I'll flip the wheels in and then pull the toe out. All right, we'll set that off to the side now. And now this main part. So we come up here, uh, go ahead and uh, split all of these panels here and open these up. These thruster pieces right here are just, there's two pegs here on the front that peg into these holes inside the trailer. So just pop those off like that. And then come under here, fold these up, and collapse them like that. Like that. Uh, this, come under here, this silver panel with the shiny red thing, pull, you'll see the tracks they slide on here, pull those all the way out. Like that. And then fold these flat, fold flat. And then come up here, fold these pieces out, and then fold these pegs down. So they're sticking, you know, basically sticking forward. So fold those down like that. And then fold these panels up. You heal them, match it. And then fold these panels out on each end. Like that. And then come around to the back and fold the wheels flat and they will also, you'll see they'll peg in here. And that's the trailer taken care of. Oh, actually no, that's not taken care of because you want to pull, like, these are on a spring. You want to pull them out and rotate them so they face up. Pull them out, rotate them so they face up. And then on the other side, and these are fit to a specific side. So if you're having trouble getting it connected, uh, put them on the other side, but you just use one of the pegs on the top and on the bottom. And that gives the, the thruster a 3D jet engine. And again, the peg on the bottom and then the two pegs on the top. I just peg that on and there's that piece done. And then to prep Prime here, come around to his back. And here is where, because you don't have any way of securing it down here like we did uh, in vehicle mode, uh, you want to go ahead and while you're doing this, uh, use a uh, whatever small tool you need to bring this up kind of get this up out of the way but uh, get the uh, this little flap out sometimes you can get there is a ridge there it doesn't if, unless you push it all the way down you might be able to get a fingernail under there but just pop this uh, this hinge okay fine we'll look at it yeah see it's a little tight so we'll get under here if we can there we go pop that hinge out and that will allow this to come down and tab together securely and unhold it together like that. But you wanna get that down out of the way like this, because these right here, these little squares are where those square pegs from the jetpack are gonna plug into. And then the hooks are gonna fit over these little square connectors, the squarish uh, rectangular connectors that the wheels are on. So come back here and uh, actually we might be able to do this here on this tripod. So you want to slide this down. You can see those have square cutouts in them. They're going to slide down over the uh, the wheel wells here. Just kind of push those down and slide them on down until these pegs line up. This one folded up. So if that happens, just kind of get in there. If you can get in there with your finger, great. I don't know that I'm going to be able to do it, but this little, you should stay straight as you bring it down. And then as you bring it down, they'll peg in to um, proper slots, and this one needs to go up. Hmm. Let's see if we can get in there with a small tool. Pop that up into place there. Come on. Well, I really don't want that. Let's see if I can't do this here without having to pull the whole thing apart. Oh, well. There we go. But yeah, just 
One, the clips up here will hold it pretty securely, but uh, if it doesn't, you can get in there and, and peg it in, but just make sure it pegs into the backpack properly. The, uh, the leg pieces right here, very simple. Lift them up. I'm gonna pull, pull, pull his toes all the way up here. So they point like that, and then they will sit. Up. You can fold this back a little bit to give yourself some room, but the, the toes will sit right in this little gap here, and then this front piece will kind of close up over the heel, and then you fold this in and snap it into the back of the leg, like that, on each side. You do have to make sure the toes are not, the ankle tilt is not engaged to get them to fit, but kind of wiggle this in past here, pull that up, and then snap that into place. Now his feet are on. Got a big feet, big robot. And then these, like I said, these go on a specific hand. It helps, it helps sometimes if you fold this forward a little bit, because these pieces right here, when it, straighten out his fingers so you've got the clearance for the, for the hand, but he's got a little connector right here. So you take the gun, have, make sure these stay open. These are a little floppy. But just slide that onto the rail. And then once that's done, you can fold the uh, handle up and line it up and peg it into his hand. There we go. It may take a little bit of trial and error because the, um, you can wrap his hand around it, the uh, the rail, if you, if you keep pushing it, it'll just keep sliding on off and then off the back of the rail. So you may need to slide this a little forward or back uh, to get that to line up. But put that gun on and then do the same on this side. And that's what, here's what I'm talking about. You can just keep sliding it right off the back. So whichever way you choose to slide it on, do that and then just trying to fold this up. Just slide it back and forth until you get it set up to where it snaps into the hand and just fold his fingers around it. And there is General Grant all armored up. And again, the one minor issue I would say if I had to find an issue with this mode is that it bulks up his legs and it gives him a really cool jetpack torso and some cool guns, but it does leave like the upper thigh, lower abdomen area, a little empty, but uh, all in all, pretty cool. Um, he retains all of his posability in this. And one of the things I like to do also, these ratchet and click, so you can angle those up, give him a little bit more dynamic uh, wing pose there. But like, it looks like a statue. Like if you pose this thing it in, in any mode, it looks like a high-end collectible statue. It doesn't necessarily look like a transformable action figure. And that's cool. <laughs> Except feet a little big, maybe. But but the way it comes together in the trailer, uh, in the vehicle mode with the trailer, and then as a fully combined robot, this is a super nice figure. And for the first uh, release from a company, I'm very impressed. Um, like I said, any issues I have with it, I point out for the sake of you know, covering everything, but like, they're all very minor. Like I said, this, this could maybe, it'd be nice if something maybe clamped onto his thighs to kind of thicken him up in from here to here a little better with everything else going on. But I love the wing pack. I love the trailer. The vehicle mode looks fantastic. There's a lot of weight to him. He feels solid um, and heavy. Again, some very minor paint rubbing on the corners of these pieces, but you can't even really see it here in robot mode unless you're looking for it. Um, so very, very minor nitpicks on what's a fairly fantastic, uh, initial offering from Civil Warrior. So there is General Grant from Civil Warrior. I'm looking forward to seeing what else they have coming down the pipeline. Oh yeah, my one, my one other nitpick, uh, again, in combined mode, if you're using both of these, there's nowhere to store these. And if you're using these, uh, the, these, uh, Gatling guns just kind of sit off to the side. So uh, it would be nice to have, unless there's something not in the instructions that I'm missing, but um, it, would be it would be nice to have some storage for this. But again, those are all very minor complaints, uh, especially when the rest of the package is so just so dang good. 
There is CW01 Civil Warrior. Uh, thanks for watching.